Hi everyone, um, in this video I wanted to go over Niagara Fluid Simulations. So Niagara Fluid Simulations are this cool new thing uh, that render all kinds of fluids, um, smoke sims, fire sims, um, and even water sims. So right now we are looking at this cool smoke sim template. And actually the first thing you'll need to do is go into plugins, search for Niagara Fluid and enable Niagara Fluids plugin. Cool. Um, restart the engine, come back when you have it. So this is just one example and I'm actually going to delete this um, example and I'm going to make a new Niagara system from scratch. So let's go to FX Niagara system and then we go to copy existing system. Then I'm going to scroll down to the grid 3D gas colored smoke. Um, now, there's a reason why I picked this one and not the other ones. The other ones are great as well, but this one is not uh, as locked as the other ones. Um, so we get to play around with it and um, yeah, kind of create our own system using this template. I hit finish, um, then I name it NS um, SH Smoke. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, but I'm just going to create a smoke system anyway. So as soon as I drag it in, smoke starts playing. That's amazing. I'm just going to uh, set the level editor to full screen, push it to the side, hit Control E. That should open up my Niagara editor and I'm going to set it to the side as well. All these fluid um, simulations, they all kind of work in the same way. We have a particle source emitter and then we have the actual fluid rendering um, emitter bit. This particle source emitter controls the, um, the, the smoke renderer emitter which is in this case called grid 3d gas controls emitter but you have a bunch of these emitters uh, and as you can see they're all kind of locked but this particle source emitter um, isn't locked at all and actually this uh, uh, emitter kind of looks very similar to other particle um, Niagara particle systems that you've already seen made created or played around with that is because it is basically doing the exact same thing in all the same stages. It's just a regular, um, yeah, Niagara Sim. I can turn on the sprite renderer as well, so you can see some sprites. Actually, let me turn off the smoke, so you can see it's just sprites. That's it. They're colored sprites, and they rotate around. So the one kind of new bit, the new module, is set fluid source attributes. Now this model uh, module, it takes a bunch of um, your um, uh, uh, particle parameters and it sends it over towards the smoke emitter, right? So we grab the velocity, we grab the sprite size, we grab the color and we send it over to our smoke simulator. I'm just going to delete the emitter and place it back by hitting Ctrl Z. And here we have our smoke back again, right? Sometimes you just need to reset the system by deleting it and uh, bringing it back in again. Let's uh, actually turn off the sprite renderer again. And now in the set fluid source attributes, we do have some, we already have some fun parameters to play around with, like density. Density controls the thickness of the smoke. So if I set it to 0 0.1, uh, we have a faint smoke. If I set it to 1, that's a whole bunch of smoke. That's all the smoke you're going to get. I think if I set it to 10, it's not going to be more dense. Although it, it kind of is. Maybe. Maybe I'm fooling myself. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, I was wrong about that. It can go way up. That's crazy. Okay. Good to know. Um, the other uh, cool parameter and one of the most important parameters, at least for the smoke, uh, is temperature. So we have density, that controls the thickness of the smoke, and we have temperature. If I add temperature, then I add fire, just like that. So now I have this um, insane <laughs> looking thing, and I'm just going to dial the numbers down to one and one. And um, yeah, the color of the smoke is now determined by the color of the particles and which is set here and i can actually disable this module and it turns red now i can add a color module 
and basically select any color that I want for this system which I'm going to leave at white now or actually maybe maybe just a bit darker yeah that looks lovely cool let me increase the temperature as well a bit I want it to be a real fireball yeah that looks really cool so if I want to change the behavior of the smoke and of the fire, there are a bunch of uh, um, yeah parameters stored in the emitter summary. So now I'm going over to yeah basically the smoke renderer emitter, which is on the right hand side. And if I go to emitter summary, and if I fold in a bunch of these menus then you can see the smoke and fire um, emitter has a bunch of yeah parameters values to tweak with um, for example we have the grid the grid is um, the red rectangle you can see here if the uh, if the smoke or the fire tends to go out of this bounding box then it's not being rendered anymore so this box determines yeah your render area which is kind of important as you can see right now the local pivot is offset in height um, I kind of want it to not have an offset anymore so you can see the bounding box just shifted to the center of the actor but now the particles let me turn on the particles are being rendered outside of the box and we can just go to spin position and also change the offset of the spinner set it to zero to have it render in the center of the box again let me turn off the sprite renderer and grab the actor in the level editor move it up like that you have a centered effect cool so now the smoke is just going everywhere it's going kind of nuts uh, and we can change a bunch of parameters of the smoke as well and the fire as well so we basically go to simulation the simulation tab we open it and we get a bunch of cool um, yeah floating point numbers to tweak with we have temperature dissipation we have um, velocity dissipation density buoyancy temperature buoyancy these are pretty important so density buoyancy controls how much uh, um, yeah gravity affects um, the smoke so if I turn it to 10 then all the smoke is just falling down as you can see and if I set the temperature buoyancy to 10 as well then the fire is going up but you can also set it to minus 10 to have the fire drop down which is kind of weird I think I think 10 is better so now we have a fire ball ring that's actually going upwards um, we have a velocity dissipation temperature dissipation temperature dissipation kind of basically means how fast the fire is uh, um, it's turned off <laughs> I guess so if I set it to 10 then there's almost no fire because it dissipates really quickly so we have way more smoke now than fire so yeah we can kind of play around with that to fine-tune how much smoke and how much fire we want after we dialed it in on the left hand side so here you can set the amount of density and the amount of temperature but here on the right hand side in the emitter summary we can also fine-tune anything we want really so uh pressure resolve iteration i gotta be honest i don't know half of them i played around with them sometimes i don't really see a difference but yeah just these buoyancies and just these uh velocity dissipations and stuff they uh they do a lot all right so velocity dissipation is kind of like how fast uh, it dissipates based on velocity uh, this is kind of weird kind of funky Oh, there we right oh that's kind of cool now it goes up and then it falls down 
Amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty flabbergasted that we can do all this cool stuff in real time now. And yeah, so basically this um, Niagara system has a bunch of user parameters exposed as well. So that means that in the level editor... One second. In the level editor, we can just select the Niagara actor and scroll down to adjust some parameters here as well. We can add uh, Glide with uh, Physics Asset, so we can, uh, um, yeah, introduce a mannequin, walk through the fire, have it interact with mannequins. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Like the size, the size of the render. If we turn it up all the way, things are going to get weird. So let me just set it to 500 by 500 by 500. That's great. Already the quality kind of changes. We can set the resolution um, of the bounding box of the smoke uh, here as well. But you don't really want to do that if you don't have a beefy video card. Just um, keep it at 192. That's great. And um, yeah, so we can hide the overlay. Press G. Press full screen to see the whole thing in all its glory. Cool. So yeah, that's that's a quick overview of uh, Niagara Fluids. Um, I hope you can build some cool stuff now, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.